What's going on you guys and welcome to a new video. Uh, I decided to uh, use another background thing. I'm going to have posters in the background from future future videos, sorry about that. So today, I got a lot of stuff from an, uh, I guess someone who just wants to sell it. He didn't really mind selling it for a low price, like all these games. There's so many games, dude. I have to go through all of them though. Let's do that. I'm going to put it on the floor. So at first we have... I don't really care if I got this game. I, I'm just getting GameCube games. You can probably keep this for collection purposes. But if the Sims 2 busting out... What, what's that mean? Oh, I guess it's... Oh, the original Sims. I just realized that right now. It's the original Sims. It's not Sims 2 or 3. Wow. I guess the console versions are different. Well, that's, that's a cool thing, I guess. Put away the game, of course. We got, gotta have it. Check two. I hope it's fun. I kind of, I, kinda, I had never got any kind of Shrek games before, so this will be interesting. Let's show you guys a little bit on the back here. The so Shrek two. It's a Swedish version too, which is pretty cool. Like they have a Swedish cover and like everything's in Swedish. It's a bit rough, but I guess it, it's been playing mo a lot on this system. I can't even speak right now. I'm currently cleaning my apartment, so yeah. And I got another like mint coffee, a mint of uh, Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. This is the version that has Swedish language in it. Because I think like. The first, yeah, first one to five had Swedish uh, language in it, and uh, the philosophers, all the way to, to the Phoenix Order. That's the last Swedish dubbed uh, Harry Potter movie, so it was pretty interesting, I guess. Uh, that's cool. That's cool. Uh, got another co better copy of this. So I'm gonna give the old one to my cousin, and I got a a Christine. Not to be sold separately. I guess this was like a bundle with Double Dash. So I got a more a fresh copy of this game is worth like 60 bucks here in, in Sweden, the Swedish version of it. Uh, they don't have Swedish text on the back, so yeah, that's fine. And you can play a LAN play with this. You can connect your console together. Uh, but you need a LAN adapter for that, so I guess that's out of the picture. Yeah, you can have the broadband out with this. That, that's pretty cool. You can play eight players. The first Mario Kart where you can play 8 players la locally, right? I think so. Well, you can do that with the Switch now, but this is the first one, so yeah. Got a very, way pristine condition of this one. And the one I have is from Germany, so it's an improvement, I guess. It's about... Yeah, it's assembled in Germany for the thing, but it's, uh, it's in English, not German. Because the one I have is in German. It's fine, though. You can play the game in English. Even though it's in German, so the next game is SSX3. I've never played this before, but I've tried. I think I have played it. Maybe they have that game with mass capabilities with this. I didn't know that was a thing. Okay, pretty sweet, pretty sweet, pretty sweet, pretty sweet. All right, looks pretty cool. You can play two players locally, which is really sweet. If you want to play with your friend. And I got this game too. I'm probably gonna give this to my cousin because I'm not a big Sonic fan. I think this is actually, yeah, this is not even Swedish. So I think he bought this out of country or something. But it's uh, this is the. I think this is the way. I think it's player's choice. I believe so. No, player's choice is different. I think. But I, but I don't like this spine. If you can tell, it's terrible. Like gray silver. Oh, crap. oh, it's platinum, I guess. And I have the original Sims on a console. I have never played it on a console before. I only played like Sims 2 Pets. That's the only thing I had on my GameCube. This is going to be quite interesting. Uh, it doesn't look terrible. It looks actually better on the console compared to the PC version. So, not too bad. Look like, here, this doesn't look terrible. Some of them do, but that's out of, out of the question. So, apparently, I don't know if this is only Swedish. Oh, you can play one to three players. 
This, this game has coal? I think this is the last good Harry Potter game. Uh, every game after this one is terrible, apparently. According to some people, I don't know. I think the uh, Phoenix Order is alright too, but... Finally found a copy of this. I think this is around like 30 bucks here. So that's pretty good. Got everything in this box for a really little price. I'm gonna I'm gonna share with you the price later on. Uh, so we got a pretty popular GameCube game, uh, Rogue Leader. I'm not really sure about this one. Uh, huh. Yeah. Oh yeah. It's the it's the game where you can fly around in the ship, and I think you can be a bad guy too. I'm not sure. Rogue Leader, Rogue Squadron, and oh my god. This is my favorite. Wait, what's going on here? I got Spider-Man 2. Wait, did they forget forget a game? I got Spider-Man 2 in the in the night party case. Maybe there's a game in the GameCube, probably. I'll take this out and put it on the side. I got Spider-Man 2 on the GameCube. I don't have the case. I might have to find that somewhere. So I got I got Night Fighter here. Uh, it's my favorite James Bond game, even better than Goldeneye in my opinion, because uh, yeah, you can do crazy stuff on the multiplayer, you can play uh, with your friends against bots, you can like do all crazy stuff, and I like the story in this, it's pretty cool. And this is the Swedish like text on the back, which is pretty sweet. So I'm trying to get all the Swedish games, you can play 1 to 4 players simultaneously, that's pretty cool. And there's, I think there's, okay. This game case is not the original game case, you can see, so that, that's a ripoff in a way, but it's fine, I'm gonna try to find an actual game case, I guess it's probably broke, I have some extra game cases, I'm probably gonna throw away anyway, so I might as well use them for something, so I'm just gonna use that for the Dragonfly Spyro game. Enter the Dragonfly, this is not a Legend of Spyro game, oh it's printed, oh, I think they only had this, that's probably why. It's not even the original, like, actual uh, thing, because I can tell by the print, terrible quality of the print, so. Well, if I still bought this game for a lot of money, separately, that would be, or, this is alright, though, it's fine. I kind of want to customize the, the art for the GameCube game. Uh, I love that the European have the logo on the top, instead of the stupid US who have it on the bottom. Like the PAL version, basically. That's what Sweden keeps use. Well, this this game box is heavy for some reason. What? Oh, the manual is pretty big. Wow. Wait a minute. Oh, that's cool. There's like posters in here. Like these kind of posters in this game. That's pretty cool. I'm gonna put these on the wall. That, that's really awesome that these, these are still in here. I think this game hasn't been played that much. There's posters of all the games that came out on launch, I think. Or close to launch. Or are coming out, in this case, I guess. So the other game I have is Donkey Kong. I always wanted to see what this game is about. So I decided to buy this huge collection of GameCube games. So my basically... I think my GameCube collection is close to my Wii collection now. I mean, the amount of games I have, so it's pretty sweet. So, and the other game, I'm probably gonna keep this because I have not tried it. Oh, it's a co-op game, that's sweet. I love co-op games. They have a lot of co-op games on the GameCube, which I like. It's pretty sweet so I can play with my cousin. So this is the Narnia game. Uh, the uh, I guess it's called The Lion and the Cupboard. The Lion the Witch and the Wardrobe. That's this game. And it's a game with an English case, that's fine though. It's a sheep game apparently. I kinda wish they had a game for games in the game stuff. And of course, since I haven't played this game before, I'm really happy to see it. It's the original Animal Crossing for the GameCube right here. And it's really not terrible, it's not mint condition, but wait. Oh, uh, the memory card is not in here that was included. But it, maybe it's the GameCube that has it in there. Because I bought an entire GameCube and a lot of games for 80 bucks, so. Pretty sweet. 
So I have, finally have Animal Crossing. If you guys want to see me play this on screen, that would be sweet. Tell me in the comments. And I, then I'll know you're in this part of the video. Basically. And of course, there's no third party controllers. That would be awesome to use if I don't want to ruin the current ones. They're like the official ones. So that's pretty sweet, right? Yeah. So this one is pretty sweet. It's not terrible, it's not great, but it's alright. It's uh, I don't know what brand it is. Oh, it's GameStop brand. Jeez, oh, gross. I think my customer would get this one. I might actually keep the one I have, like the, the purple one. Because I, I thought this GameCube was going to be the black GameCube, but I guess I mistook the coloration, but it's fine. And it also came with another third party controller I haven't seen before. It's from Game. I think that's like a gaming store or something. Like it's really, for those who have small eh, the opposite, for those who have bigger hands, it's not that, it's not as comfortable as the original, I guess. Because the buttons doesn't feel right. And they have two, two purple buttons for some reason. It's kind of gross, in my opinion. Uh, I'm probably gonna give this to my cousin too, I don't need this one, it's gross. I don't like third party contro controllers, so I can keep my first party ones. I have a Waybird. I basically have like a cool controller collection now, but I don't wanna keep third party ones. So here is the, oh my god, this is gross, I have to change. They ruined the stick on this one, otherwise it's pretty, it's pretty fine. So it's an official black GameCube, I already have one of these. So I have two of them now. It shows you you have over how much I want the freaking black game cube. It's there is the bit the biggest reason is I want the black game cube because I think it looks better. That's it. That's the only reason why I want it. Uh, and it fits with well that's, there's two reasons I guess, because it's always are also fitting with the game Game Boy player, you know, thing your expansion thing you can get. So here it is guys, the black GameCube controller. I'm gonna put this all on the shelf after this video. And of course, you gotta you gotta have a power plug. I actually have oh he didn't unplug it really? It's gonna break this system. Wait, it's, okay, it's the same as the the purple one I have. Maybe it's gonna be better. Who knows? So here it is. Pretty gross, disgusting looking GameCube. I might give my cousin this one. I think this is this is a Wii memory card? I guess that's fine. I already have two memory cards, I guess my cousin can get this one. Gross. Alright, there's no game in here. Really? Oh, the button gets stuck. I might have to clean this out. And it's actually turning yellow, so I guess my cousin can get this game too. Yeah, I'm gonna keep the one I have. I think that, that one is better. Actually, I'm gonna get... There's a thing when you can get a thing that plugs back here in the digital, digital port, so you can get higher quality gameplay. Which is something I really want, so I can play high quality GameCube games. Without, like, blur and stuff, so that's pretty sweet. So, I guess my cousin can get this and clean it if he wants to. I thought it was gonna be a black one, but it's not, so screw this. Next, I have a, another one of these cords with a composite. I have a cord that goes from this plug to a scar, just to see if that's going to be better. Maybe it is, who knows, I'm not sure. I'm going to find a four-way scar switch so I can plug all this retro system stuff to it. And I thought there wasn't... So this is the next thing, of course, because I showed you guys the games, so you kind of expected it. I kind of like the way it feels on you. I actually want to try this game out. I basically got another type of controller because this is a controller apparently. I don't know if you can actually use it for for anything else but Donkey Kong, Donkey Konga. Wait, hold on. Oh, here it is. Well, unravel this here. They have a start and pause button, and I think there comes out music from this speaker right here, if you can't see. 
that speaker right there. I wonder if it does. It would be pretty sweet if that's possible, you know? Start and pause button, that's all you have. I think this is just A and B buttons, if you want to play without Donkey Kong or Bongos. I actually, these are basically really hard to find, especially in the box. I think those are for about like 70 bucks or something. It's pretty hard to find, so I'm glad with that. Depends on where you buy it though. If it's in Sweden, it's expensive. If it's in your place, it might be not as expensive. But the GameCube wasn't that popular, I think, in Sweden. I don't see a lot of people like selling GameCube stuff. Usually it's like from the south of Sweden, uh, not in the north where I live. But hence the name, my last name. It's a part of the north, 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 north. And I actually got a GameCube manual. I don't have this, so that's fine. Next thing to add. And I got a new box that probably can like, use to store stuff. Anyway, so that's gonna be it for this video and might take a picture to use as a thumbnail for all the stuff that's in here. But you guys get to see that in the thumbnail. <laughs> Alright, so guys, don't forget to leave a comment down below what you think. Is this a good deal or a bad deal? There's a lot of good games in here and some like awkward games. I haven't played The Sims on a GameCube since I had the pets. Like The Sims 2 pets. So, it's gonna be interesting. The, the, the fun fact is though, The Sims games you basically control the character, one of the characters, and you can switch, I think, be between them. I don't know. I'm not sure. It's basically more like it's more of a game. I can say, I can say more than a, more like a action game than anything else. But anyway, my battery's about to die, so I'm gonna end this video. <laughs> so yeah, don't forget to leave a comment, like the video if you liked it, and uh, yeah, uh, give suggestions on what I should do in the future. If you guys want me to do other stuff, then. Just unboxing because that's mostly all my videos are. Unboxings and gameplay is gonna be a thing later on. I'm just waiting for stuff to arrive at my doorstep basically. So yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Hope you guys like the new way I record videos now. That'll be sweet. Bye.